Weep Nation, what's going on? Shark Gaming here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to give you guys five tips on how to score more goals in eFootball 2022 Mobile. Let's go. Tip number one, get your playstyle to 100. Now, the reason why I said getting your playstyle to 100 is that in PES 2022 or eFootball 2022 Mobile, it's a bit different from PES 2021 Mobile, where all you had to do was get your players familiar by playing a couple tour matches here and there, and then everybody would be 99 chemistry, right? In this one, you can get all the way up to 100 playstyle uh, play points, playstyle level. And if your player isn't, or if your team isn't 100%, or at least 99%, because you can go 99, 100 basically. If your team isn't in the 90s from like probably 98 to 100, then your team isn't going to play like an actual team. It's going to, you're going to lose more matches online and it's going to be harder for your forwards to score goals. It's going to be harder for your forwards to, um, you know, for your players to even put passes together. Everybody's gonna make more mistakes than they usually would. So first thing that you need to do is switch the play style. The team that I have right here would not play as good as this team right here. If I switch to any other play style that I have, this team right here, 100% all classes, that say 87 rated team play style um, thing that I just did. And if you want to know how to do it, all you have to do is watch the video that I have on how to get 100 play style. I'll link it in the description below and you guys see it. Tip number two. Tip number two is that you have to use triangles. What are triangles exactly? What you have to do is that you have to ensure that the ball that you play forward goes back and you, you just pass it around just like this. It's as simple as this. It opens more space for players to run around and then you'll be able to score more goals. Obviously you guys didn't see me score right here and this is easy because this is just training mode but there will be replays on the screen showing you guys what I mean by, um, what, what I mean by triangles. Now since you know about triangles, now you need to know how to use the pass and go. What is the pass and go exactly? How to do the pass and go? The pass and go or the pass and run. This is when you press the pass button and you swipe to the left. So you literally just swipe it to this side to the left. So you swipe it to the left and the player that just passed the ball will start to make a run forward. How to do the one two pass? Now the one two pass is obviously to do the other direction. All you do is just flick after playing the pass and then it will do a one two pass. But I am recommending the pass and go. The pass and go helps players that wouldn't most likely make forward runs to make forward runs and these forward runs now are going to either create space for you to either um, give, give the ball to them a little lob pass over or a through ball through to give them or it will basically uh, distract the opponent so that you can get through and score an easier goal you know what I'm saying that player that just got by the ball now can run freely to score a goal from the top of the box or something to that effect pass and go can sometimes be used to literally just distract your opponents once the advanced opponents see players making runs towards uh, I guess towards goal sometimes they literally start putting their attention towards that player which takes attention off of the player that just got the ball which gives you opportunity to look for other passes or literally just to dribble down and take the shot it's as simple as that it's literally your it's in the ball is in your court just pick the, the correct pass tip number four the use of a stunning pass and stunning shot now I have a couple tips on these things on how to use them and when not to do them so the stunning shot let's tr start with that how do you do a stunning shot a stunning shot is literally all you have to do to do a stunning shot is press the shoe button and swipe it to the right or the left after doing it but here's the number one tip with it never you swipe the shoe button or never you do a stunning shot when there are players around you the best time to do a stunning shot is right before you get the ball see it's when you're passing a ball to a forward that you want to do the stunning shot with before the ball reaches their foot just swipe the, the shoe button so by the time it reaches the foot, it automatically goes off as a stunning shot. You have a 90% better chance to score the goal if you do that. 99.9% .9 of the times, if you wait for the ball to reach their feet, the striker's foot, to take the stunning shot, by the time you load up that stunning shot, an opponent will take the ball off of your foot and you have wasted a chance. It's better you just take a regular shot and call it a day. So that is my advice with stunning shots. Stunning shots can activate dipping shots, knuckle shots. It can activate swerve shots. It can activate even curlers. It just all depends on who and what you're doing with the ball. Let's say, for instance, you give it to Messi. Messi more than likely is going to do either a dipping shot or a curler. If you give it to Cristiano Ronaldo or Rashford, it's going to be either a knuckleball, a dipping shot, or a curler. More than likely, not the curler. More than likely, the knuckleball or the dipping shot. Just like if you give Dwight York, and I can go on and on and on. If you give Pearl or Beckham, what do you think will happen? Is it a big knuckleball, knuckle shot, or it's going to be a curler? You get what I'm trying to say? You guys can basically tell what is going to happen based on the play that you're using. So you don't use a 
guy who doesn't have dipping shot and expect him to do a dipping shot when you do the stunning shot. You know what I'm trying to say? Just focus on or think what you want to do first. Stunning pass. Now, I think that this is actually one of the best, um, one of the best additions to the game a stunning pass all you have to do depending on what pass you want to do if you want to make a pass that's on the ground especially when you're crossing it in all you have to do is swipe to the right if you want to do a stunning if you want to do a stunning low pass all you have to do is swipe to the left so basically when you're doing a stunning low pass you swipe to the left when you're pressing the pass button and when you want to do a lofted cross basically but it's faster like an early cross type of thing you swipe to the right the same principles apply make sure that you have a lot of space before you do it but with this one now, don't load up the passing button before it reaches their feet. Wait till the ball reaches their feet and they're in full control before you do the passing. It's completely backwards, I get it, but I've had situations where the players just don't pass the ball accurately when I load the pass before it even reaches their foot. But I could be wrong, you know what I'm saying? The stunning through passes, I barely use those to be true, so I won't even tell you guys about it because I don't want to tell you guys things that I've never done before or I've never experienced because that would be lying basically you know what i'm saying somebody else another youtuber out there will tell you guys about the stunning through pass maybe i'll research it i'll use it some more because i don't use it so maybe i'll research it and do it more often and then i'll tell you guys when is the best time to do it and when not but for now i don't know nothing about it let's just move on you know what i'm saying once you come back the thing is the best combination for a stunning pass is a stunning shot so you see when you do the stunning pass and the ball is about to reach the striker whether it's a lobbed pass or it's a low pass you literally just get it you just press stunning, so it can be a stunning header, it can be a stunning shot. For all I know, it could be a tapping. Just do what you have to do and do it properly. That's all you have to do, guys. I trust you. Tip number five. The most important tip here is actually to use super subs. I know it doesn't sound as complex as you guys are thinking, but think about it. Super subs, once being subbed off right after halftime or during halftime, anytime after the 45 minute whistle, basically, once you sub on a super sub, even though it could be actually a super sub could actually be activated once the sub dog did that and the game start but my principle is that once it's sub dog after 45 minutes literally super subs become op op me overpowered so literally if you sub on a player let's say for instance you have rashford and mbappe right obviously mbappe is better than rashford but when you sub on rashford let's say rashford has super sub trade if you sub on rashford he's suddenly on mbappe's level in the game if you sub on Erling Haaland, he's untouchable. If you sub on Inzaghi, so who are super subs you might ask in this game? Super subs, you have some super subs right here. You have Collier. Collier is one of the best target man super sub. Probably the only one in the game to be fair. I don't even know. You have Inzaghi ball and turn. You have Morientes. You have Haaland. You have, um, there are a lot of super subs that you can try. Just look for them. You even have central midfielder super subs and other position super subs. You know, I don't know if there's like a mode in this, like in PES 2021, where you could have added like a certain trait to somebody. Because I had Super Sub on Phil Jones one time. I know it was an accident, but it happened. And he did play just a little bit better when I subbed him on. So, it works. But always have a Super Sub in the game. It's when you have a Super Sub or a couple fast strikers at least, it changes the game 100%. Try to get a super sub in your team and just watch the difference. You may not win every single game, but the addition of a super sub, especially when you're losing 1, 2 love, 2, 1, whatever the case may be, adding a super sub to the team can actually get you more goals. Just trust me on that one. I guarantee you that if you have a super sub, you will get more goals. Like, it's not even, I'm not even bullshitting anybody at all. If you have a super sub, you will get more goals. So don't worry about it. Just trust the process. All in all, the best tip that I can give you, and this is a bonus tip, the best tip that I can give you guys is to play with the players that suit your play style. So, let's say for instance you're a long ball spammer play with fast forwards and defenders that can pass the ball properly you're not gonna use phil jones bro you have to use van dyke varan even maguire is a good passer but you can't use man like phil jones you know like use players who make sense bro you know what i'm saying like if you're a person who loves playing possession ball game you can't be picking mctominay over iniesta bro and this is no disrespect to mctominay because as you can see i use mctominay in all my teams he's there i use him just because i like using every single player and i like using underrated players but literally though say you're gonna play possession ball game and you use rashford um rashford mctominay um freaking Haller. Well Haller can play position ball game, but you know what I mean. You obviously have Cruyff, Ronaldinho, all the Barcelona players, Iniesta, etc. You have the Manchester City players who can play ball game. No go say you go play um uh yeah long ball counter. Yeah, as I said, long ball. You can't be playing long ball and you have a slow striker like just an example, Giroud or Zlatan bro. Then one day, yeah, every once in a while they will definitely get the ball and will definitely get away and probably score a goal. But 90% of the time the defenders are going to catch them, bro. They are going to catch them because they're not the fastest. A defender can barely catch Haaland, Mbappe, Rashford, Vinicius Jr., Rodrigo, 
Ansu Fati, etc. Because they're fast. Man like Giroud and Zlatan and, you know, the man in a fast, bro. Don't, don't waste your time with that. Play with the play style that fits you, bro. If you like to play crosses, play with tall strikers or tall forwards at least. If you like to take long shots, play with midfielders that can actually kick long shots, bro. Don't play with flipping. Um, who, which which midfielder can slap long shot properly? Don't play with flipping. Um, just pick somebody, bro. Don't play with you know. Don't play with Van der Beek. Play with flipping Beckham, you know. Play with people who can kick the ball. My gosh. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, you know, I gave you guys basically six tips. Even though I said it was five, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, like the video if you want, subscribe to the channel and I'm saying road to 40,000 subscribers, so it'd be appreciated. If not, that's cool. Thank you guys for watching the video. I'm out.